Next we're going to demonstrate ultrasound guided injection of the shoulder. Before we get started, keep in mind that as with any procedure, it should be performed under sterile conditions. This is only a demonstration of the appropriate setup. To begin the injection, we're going to place the transducer on the patient's shoulder with the notch of the transducer aimed towards the patient's ear. And we can see the supraspinatus tendon in clear image. Just above the supraspinatus tendon lies the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. It's represented as a thin black line above the tendon and will be the target site of our shoulder injection. Now that we've localized the subacromial subdeltoid bursa, we're ready for injection. Again, remembering our landmarks, that the notch of the upper left-hand corner of the ultrasound screen correlates with the notch on the transducer. The goal is to introduce the needle directly beneath the transducer. Ideally, the needle should be at the center point beneath the transducer. And we can see it penetrate the deltoid, which is the area above the supraspinatus tendon, and then it will penetrate the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. It's important not to continue needle penetration as this may penetrate the supraspinatus tendon and may cause pain as well as eventual further injury to the patient. With injection of kenalog and lidocaine into the subacromial subdeltoid bursa, we confirm proper location by seeing expansion of the bursa. Here is an example of fluid filling the bursa. The injection is now complete and the needle is withdrawn.